Hi guys, today we will be learning a pretty neat trick called the Sisi Slam Law Test. Uh, this is something which I learned from YouTube. Usually this is taught in electronics repair shops and vocational schools. If you have a defective equipment and you want to test that equipment live on a 230 volt supply or any the, whatever may be the main supply you have, whether you are in US or Europe. So this is a cool trick that can be used anywhere, but uh, students don't know about this trick, so I'll be explaining about this one. And most of the guys who does repair know about this trick. So let's see what it is. Here I made a small equipment for myself for doing this trick. I connected. An AC power cord to the mains outlet, and I made a small portable equipment for doing the series slam load test. I'll connect the equipment to here, and then I switch on this power to a small neon lamp. It will get glowed up. So I'll just show you how it works. I will show you the explanation. So I am having this Philips hair dryer and I am connecting this hair dryer to the series lamp switching on. Now I am switching on the equipment. This, uh, Hydra has two modes, slow mode and fast mode. Now it is slow mode, and when I'm putting it in fast mode, see the change in brightness. Less bright, no brightness, less bright, high brightness. So basically what happened here is that you are putting a lamp in series with the load. This is a very simple circuit. There is a mains outlet and then it goes to here to a lamp of 15 watt, 40 watt, 100 watts. And this will be given to two points. The other point is given, it's a light point, given through a switch and be connected to the light. That's what happens here. You just switch, switch, and the AC socket to go to the mains outlet. Here is the lamp. You can connect any load here, whether it's short circuit or load, or it's a fully functioning equipment, short circuit or load, or partially short or load, anything. So the current goes to here the equipment and then complete the circuit. So the basic theory is that the primarily the lamp is the load. The current passing through the lamp is determined in the voltage of the lamp. 15 watts, 40 watts, 100 watts. So accordingly we can change the lamp for the equipment and the lamp will be the primary load. So whether the equipment is short or not, the lamp will glow and if the equipment is shorter, so the resistance will be 0 ohms to here and so what happens is that more current will pass through here so the lamp will be glowing very brightly but if the equipment is of a heavy load like what an SMB or something then the bulb will not glow that much I would also add some two test props here what happens is that These are my test probes. You can connect the test probes here and use the test probe for checking anything for a short like that. The test probe will be here. 